Hi, I'm Jeff Doyle, and welcome to this episode of Tracking 200. I'm in New Hampshire today for the second weekend of muzzleloader season. It's a really mild day. We've had weather in the 60s and close to 70 degrees. So without snow, I've been thinking about a game plan. I tracked a big buck in here last weekend, and in doing so, he led me to a couple of scrapes. Looking back at Onyx maps this morning, there's a, there's two mountains, there's a big swamp, and I've got scrapes that are just worn right down to the roots on this side of the mountain and this side of the mountain. And I put a trail camera on one of those scrapes where there was a heavy trail. So what I think's happening is those deer are cutting right off across the end of that mountain. So the plan today is to go in, check the camera, see if I've got anything good on there, and then work my way over from the first scrape to the second scrape across the end of that mountain, just going super slow, calling. I got the rattle and bones and the grunt call. So I'm excited about the opportunities here. So my plan here is just sneaking along a few steps at a time, stop and listen, maybe I hear a deer walking. I'm trying to work up to the end of this mountain where I'm going to stop and rattle. Big scrape right there. didn't produce anything but the wind is going this direction and I got that swamp down there so my plan is to go down get up on this ridge and then swing down into that saddle there I should find some scrapes over in that corner I have the wind in my favor. I might have trouble getting around this swamp. A lot of prickers in here. Look at that view, huh?
security than it is about feed or anything else. You really can't see very far. You could hear something coming from a mile away. Well, that's going to wrap it up for another episode of Tracking 200. I was able to get in, pull my SD card on that camera, confirm I had some bucks on there, scout around a little bit, look for some bedding areas, try to understand the deer movement a little better here, but it's hot. It's like 70 degrees, and if I got one today, I'd have to be pretty concerned with spoilage. So at this point, I'm going to wrap things up. Again, I'm really happy to be able to give away an elite membership for Onyx Maps, teamed up with them this season of Tracking 200. So for your chance to win, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll pick a winner in the next few days. We'll see you on the trail.